Taku Gold Corp, leading the way in the new Yukon Gold Rush. Join us as we leave our base camp in the heart of the White Gold District and head off to our Portland property located just south of Dawson City, Yukon, where we commence Taku's 2011 drill program. In the 2011 drill program, Taku completed seven holes with all assays now in the labs awaiting results. As we circle on our approach, let's get a good look at the drill in action and a series of six trenches completed to identify our current drill target. The six trenches that we are looking at were completed in 2010 and cover a past producing gold mine dating back over 100 years. Assay results from Taku's trenches ranged up to 97 grams per ton gold over seven meters, giving Taku a significant drill target with plenty of mineralization on surface. Now let's join Taku's Mark Feketa as he takes us through the trenches to the drill in action. All right, uh, I'm Mark Feckett. I'm a geologist for, for Taku Gold. I'm standing in a trench on the, uh, on the Gold Run showing. This is a historical showing that goes back to uh, 1909. Uh, last year we, uh, we put in six trenches here uh, over a, a strike length of uh, 250 meters. We got some, some spectacular results here. In this particular trench we had uh, values up to 445 uh, grams per ton. Uh, just to give you an idea where we are here, uh, if you look out across the valley here, that that uh, uh, line of ridges would be our would be our north boundary, and uh, uh, just over on this side would be our would be our uh, western boundary. Um, we're in the Klondike uh, part of uh, part of Yukon. This is uh, Klondike's most famous for the uh, Klondike Gold Rush of uh, 1898, and um, a lot of the Stampeders at that time, uh, as well as doing the placer mining, they were they were uh, combing these hills. Doing your traditional pack and boots uh, prospecting, and this particular site was uh, discovered in in about 19, 1909, and it was it was worked right up until the the Second World War. Uh, it's, it's called the Gold Run showing. Uh, if we just step over here, I'll show you some of the material that uh, we're getting the gold values out of. Uh, this is a fairly typical uh, 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 golden quartz vein. Uh, we call these or orogenic uh, quartz veins uh, from, from the method that they're, they're, they're formed. Uh, there's all kinds of specks of uh, visible gold in this. It's, uh, it's a great looking rock. Um, the structure itself is, is about four to, four, to five meters, four to five meters wide and our goal, um, our goal with these trenches was to uh, fall it on strike and, and get an idea of, of uh, where it was going and the dimensions of it, with the idea that we'd be uh, we'd be drilling here in, in 2011. Now this particular piece this is what uh, this would this is what gets a, a prospector excited. It's uh, it's uh, typical quartz vein. There's uh, there's galena within it. And if you look really closely with a hand lens, uh, there's there's specks of uh, visible gold. So quite a quite a nice piece of rock. Okay, what we're looking at here is is one of the original prospecting pits that the uh, the old timers did back in uh, back in the early 1900s. And uh, uh, we have one of our our pits here done with an excavator last year, and you can you can see the challenges that the that the old timers faced. They uh, they was all pick and shovel, and they would have had to hike up here. We had the benefit of a helicopter today. So uh, quite a quite a good piece of uh, prospecting. Um, this is some of the material that they would have uh, would have been looking at, and this is uh, this is really a spectacular piece. You can see the nice uh, the nice crystalline uh, quartz in here, and, and if you look quart, uh, if you look very uh, very closely here, uh, there are little bits of uh, uh, galena. This is. Uh, just a great piece of, uh, of rock. This is uh, this is the kind of thing we like to see. Lots of these open spaces, uh, fillings, and things like that. So, you know, and this uh, this coloration here. This is actually um, this is actually due to uh, due to antimony. It's a, a slight uh, discoloration. Antimony, obviously, it's a it's a pathfinder element for for gold. So something that uh, something that we like to see. Um, 
uh, what we're doing this season is drilling, and uh, we're going to take you up next to the drill, and uh, we'll see uh, see what those guys are getting in the core. Thank you for joining us on our tour of Taku's 2011 Portland Drill Program. Taku Gold Corp has recently completed its 2011 exploration season, having taken more than 26,000 soil samples and completed numerous trenches, leading to the discovery of additional drill targets for the upcoming 2012 exploration season. Thank you.